Any person who is not indifferent to cats understands that all breeds have a bunch of their own characteristics, and each particular pet has its own character traits and qualities inherent only to him. Such nuances are always important to consider when choosing a furry family member. After all, any breed has some subtleties, including Snowshoe. The Story of the Origin of Snowshoe Snowshoe is a very young breed. Its history began only in the 60s of the last century. She owes her origin to one of the American breeders, Dorothy Hines Doherty. The woman lived in Philadelphia and for many years in a row was engaged in breeding cats, including Siamese. She once noticed that a couple of the most ordinary Siamese kittens were born with an unusual color, rare white spots all over the body, and clearly defined white socks on the legs. This color seemed interesting to the breeder and she decided, so to speak, to consolidate the unexpected result and continue working in this direction. Dorothy did not immediately succeed in everything, and she tried many options for mating. A few years later, the work of the breeder was rewarded, but philological organizations refused to recognize the new breed of cats in white socks. At some point, Dorothy became disillusioned with her hobby and refused to breed a new breed. Dorothy's work, several years later, was very successfully continued by another American, Vicky Ollander. Thanks to her efforts and iron will, the first breed standard was finally created. Interesting fact, in 1974, the American Philological Organizations of the Snowshoe were granted the status of an experimental breed. In 1982, cats in white socks have already begun to actively participate in exhibitions. In 1986, the British Snowshoe breeding program was adopted. Unfortunately, the snowshoe breed is not very common today. The problem is that there is a lot of randomness in her breeding. For this reason, it is quite difficult to breed a cat that fully meets the standard. Snowshoe, breed description. The snowshoe cat is a medium-sized animal with a rather muscular proportional build, a wedge-shaped head and a spotted color. Males, as a rule, are larger 6 to 7 kilograms, and females are smaller 4 to 5 kilograms. The shape of a cat's head is very much like an isosceles triangle. The muzzle is narrow and slightly elongated, rather high cheekbones stand out on it. The ears of the snowshoe are set quite wide, at their base they are of medium width, and in their shape they continue the wedge-shaped shape of the head, their tips are slightly rounded. The nose is not wide, with a smooth curve at the bridge of the nose, or with a slight hump. The eyes are oval, and somewhat elongated towards the ears. The color of the iris is any shade of blue or cyan. Overall, the snowshoe's eyes are very similar to those of the Siamese, which is not surprising given the breed's origin. The body is powerful, muscular, proportional, very mobile. In this case, the chest is also powerful, and the neck is short. Paws are long enough, muscular, due to their proportional build, their length is not too prominent. The tail is of medium length, gradually tapering towards the end. Coat and color. Snowshoe hair is usually short to medium in length, smooth and soft to the touch. The undercoat is not very dense, but is present. On the back, on the belly, and on the inner side of the hind legs, the hair is somewhat longer. The nose is white, the legs are covered with white socks, a few large white spots can also be scattered all over the body. Regardless of the number and size of white spots, the main part of the muzzle is dark, like in Siamese cats. Popular colors of snowshoe. Another unspoken name given to the snowshoe by its white spots is panda cats. The standard color type for all snowshoe is color point, base color plus white spots in certain areas plus colored spots. In this case, white spots should be placed on the cat's body, not in a chaotic manner, but in a strictly defined way. For example, in the form of a short white triangle on the face, resembling an inverted V or I. The triangle must necessarily extend to the bridge of the nose and nose. The pure white mark in the form of a white stripe should also extend across the chin to the chest. The same white should be socks on all four legs. Snowshoes are found with only three main classic colors. Blue point, gray-blue markings. Seal point, beige or brown markings, tortoiseshell, dark brown or nearly black markings. At the same time, only the first two are recognized by international federations. For potential owners who want to buy a spotted cat, it is important to know that all kittens of this breed are usually born white, without any marks or spots. Only by the age of two they acquire their final color, which depends on the color of the parents. At the same time, the paw pads and nose can have a tone of the main color, be spotted or pink. As for the inconsistency with the breed standard, and no case or long hair, the absence of white shoes, a disproportionate physique and the color of the iris not blue. The nature and habits of snowshoe. Snowshoe cats are unique, not only in their color, but also in character. The owner will never be bored with such a pet. They are active and inquisitive, intelligent and sociable, gentle and affectionate. Despite a very close relationship with the rather noisy Siamese cats, Snowshoe is more characterized by a melodic and soft voice than a loud cat squeal. 
Moreover, they never meow just like that, for this there must always be a good reason, for example, a desire to communicate with the owner. Interesting fact, cats of this breed usually choose their owner, give him their feline attention signs, accompany him everywhere, but also communicate with pleasure with the rest of the family or pets. Moreover, if there is another cat or dog in the family, the snowshoe will definitely make friends with her. After all, this is an extrovert cat. She will be happy to go for walks with the dog, as well as learn different tricks with her. Is it possible to determine how suitable snowshoe is for this or that person? If the potential owner does not leave his home for a long time and can pay maximum attention to the animal, then the breed is completely suitable for him. If there are children in the family, then this is generally an ideal choice. After all, these cats are very fond of children, and children will not remain indifferent to a pet in white socks. The most interesting thing about these cats is the ability to understand what a person wants from them and an inexplicable love for water. Moreover, they not only love to swim, but also to play with water, for example, to touch with their paws the stream of water that flows from the tap. Moreover, the cat may even ask the owner to turn on the water for her, climbing on the sink every now and then, touching it with its paws. Interesting facts about snowshoe. Snowshoe are distinguished by their quick wit and intelligence, so learning the rules of behavior in the house is not at all a problem for them. Although the concept of training is not entirely applicable to such animals as cats, but the snowshoe undoubtedly has the ability to learn different tricks. Especially love and desire for such training is manifested if there is a dog in the house. In addition to the fact that snowshoe love to play with different toys, they are not at all averse to being naughty, for example, to steal something and hide it in a secluded place and after a while get it and return it revealingly. They have a particular weakness for jewelry and items that have luster. Snowshoe are curious and very smart animals. They love to climb the highest places in the house, for example, on closets, and can also independently master the techniques of opening simple locks and latches. The attitude of snowshoe to water is interesting. Cats not only do not have any problems with bathing, but they also like to watch the flowing water for a long time and even play with it. Such a character trait as rancor is completely uncharacteristic of snowshoe. Although they consider one person as their master, they treat all other household members equally well. The unpopularity of this breed is due to rather strict requirements regarding compliance with the standard. Most of the requirements are imposed on color. Indeed, because of the relative youth of the breed and the presence of recessive genes, breeding snowshoe is like playing Russian roulette, you never know what color kittens will have in each subsequent litter. Pros and cons of snowshoe. If you focus on the reviews of the owners of snowshoe cats, then you might think that these are the most ideal pets that can be. In some ways you can agree with them, in others you cannot. Advantages of snowshoe, extraordinary appearance, devotion to the owner, playfulness and activity, sensitivity, intelligence, ingenuity, curiosity, sociability, love for children, love for other pets, lack of fear of water, lack of rancor. Disadvantages of snowshoe. Intolerance to loneliness, tendency to steal, breeding difficulties. All in all, snowshoe is a typical house cat. As a place of residence, a city apartment is much more suitable for her and not a country house. Although free walking is undesirable for these cats, they love to be outside and very easily accustom themselves to a leash. They have a special love for street walks if there is a dog in the house. Interesting fact, the animal lends itself well to education, so raising an understanding and obedient animal for its owner will not be a problem at all. As for breeding, it is better to do this not always rewarding business only for cat lovers with many years of experience because there are many difficulties, both explicit and hidden, lurking here. One of the difficulties is getting a color that would meet breed standards. Due to the presence of a considerable number of recessive genes in cats, not all even very experienced breeders can get the correct color. Because of this feature, almost half of the kittens are discarded. Breeding snowshoe. The breeding process of snowshoe cats is almost the same as the breeding process of other breeds, however, there are some peculiarities here. It is worth noting that in relation to this particular breed, the most difficult process is not mating, but obtaining offspring that meets the standard. The thing is that snowshoe are rarely born with a perfect pattern, so breeders have to reject more than half of the kittens in each litter. However, if the goal of breeding is not to get champion titles, but just cute cats in white socks, then everything will be much easier. Usually, puberty, as evidenced by the first estrus, in a snowshoe cat occurs at 7 to 9 months. As for the first mating, according to the rules, it is carried out only after the third heat. It is worth noting that finding a worthy partner for a purebred snowshoe is another challenge. It is best to look for it in the same cattery where the cat was purchased. You should not agree to the offers of ordinary divorces. After all, there will be almost no guarantees here. Basic requirements that an ideal mating partner must meet. 
the purity of the breed, it is mandatory to have documents confirming this fact. Healthy and well-groomed, certificates from a veterinarian about health status and vaccinations are required. Unleashed, experience is always better than no experience. Also, when choosing a partner, you should take into account the appearance of the cat. After all, the external breed characteristics are especially important here. It is also important to remember that, in accordance with unspoken rules, as a payment for a successful mating, one kitten is usually taken by the owner of the groom. It is possible that the owner of the cat would prefer to receive a monetary reward. Therefore, in order to avoid disagreements, it is important to discuss all these sensitive moments in advance, or even record in writing. The most recommended birth rate for a cat is no more than twice in three years. After all, too frequent childbirth can deplete the cat's body, which will certainly affect the health and condition of the offspring in the future. Not only experienced breeders, but also veterinarians are advised to observe this frequency of birth, since a weakened cat is an excellent target for all kinds of infections. Snowshoe Care All cats, including the snowshoe, are great cleanups. Therefore, they do an excellent job with their own hygiene, and the task of their owners is to look after and provide some assistance in this. Caring for the appearance of the cat in white socks consists of the following points, cleaning your ears with cotton swabs and special oil, once a week, rubbing eyes with cotton pads and a solution of tea, or a special ophthalmic solution from a veterinary pharmacy, one to two times a week, cutting the tips of the nails, once every two to three weeks, brushing your teeth with a special toothpaste and a brush, once a month, combing well, one to two times a week, daily during the shedding period, bathing, no more than one time in three months, Interesting fact, the short fur of this cat does not require special care, but at least occasionally it still needs to be combed. For this, either a special massage glove or a natural bristle brush is perfect. The essence of combing is not only to remove dead hairs, but also to massage the skin, which stimulates blood circulation and the growth of the undercoat. And also in the distribution of natural fat over the wool, which performs a protective function. In addition, snowshoe are usually very loyal to combing, of course, if you do not do it too often and do not use something scary like a slick or a furminator. Most snowshoe cats just love water very much, so their owners usually won't have problems bathing. When bathing an animal, you can, and should, use only special cat detergents, shampoos and conditioners. At the same time, cats love to take water procedures and literally try not to get out of the bath longer. Snowshoe diet. Snowshoe cats can be fed both commercial food, dryer canned food, and natural food. At the same time, dry food must be of high quality and fresh. Of course, cats prefer canned food more, but still dry food is considered to be more useful and nutritious. An important fact, when choosing a way to feed a cat, it is important to understand that store food is specially designed for animals, so they contain a complex of essential vitamins and minerals. As for natural food, it is important to understand that this is not at all the same as food from the master's table. A cat should never eat what people eat. Thus, any dish offered to a pet should be prepared especially for him, taking into account his taste preferences and needs. In this case, the cat's diet must necessarily be varied and tasty to the taste of the animal, of course, otherwise the animal will refuse to eat.